explore the intriguing concept of the observer effect in quantum physics, a phenomenon that reveals the profound impact of observation on the behavior of particles. This principle suggests that the mere act of observing can alter the state of a quantum system. In experiments like the double slit experiment, particles like electrons display wave-like behavior when not observed, but act like particles when a measurement is made. This mind-bending phenomenon challenges our classical understanding of reality and suggests that our observations might not just passively record, but actively influence outcomes. The observer effect raises profound questions about the nature of reality and our role within it, suggesting that at a fundamental level, our perceptions help shape the universe. Dive into the mystery of quantum mechanics and consider how deeply the act of observation can change the fabric of reality, inviting us to rethink what we know about the world around us. All right, so how can observers create reality? How does this work? A network of observers is necessary and is inherent to the structure of reality, as he explains observers, you and me and anyone else. We're talking about individual consciousness, individual beings. And they, they, it does mention the bots and the robots, and like AI or whatever, uh, a little bit further down. But this is what we're talking about. We're talking about human consciousness, maybe animal consciousness, maybe consciousness as a whole from the plants, from the crystals, from the ants, from non-human intelligences. There is consciousness. So you, me and anything else live in a quantum gravitational universe and come up with a globally agreed upon cognitive model of reality by exchanging information about the properties of space-time. So it's only because we all agree on certain things about our gravity, about our world, that we live in it. So if I say I do not agree with gravity, I do not agree with physical reality, I'm not going to jump from a building and suddenly it's going to cease to exist because we live in a consensus reality. Again, the term from William Bullman. So it is, it is a collective subconscious. It is a collective idea that we are experiencing. This is what the sign is saying. The wave of probability to measure the same value of the already proved physical quantity becomes localized or simply collapses. I, I talked all about this uh, so they prove that uh, there's non-locality non-locality is the reality of things locality is an illusion simply collapse the collapse of the wave function so i have all these videos about quantum physics in my channel and i want to try to try to make it easy but uh, if you don't understand quantum physics go google it it's the most important thing right now because it's literally the science proving that there's more to us than being bags of flesh and bones that's how reality comes to be consistently real to us all once you keep measuring a quantity over and over knowing the result of the first measure and you will see the outcome to be the same so we agree upon it and we experience it similarly if you learn from somebody about the outcomes of the measurements of physical quantity your measurements of those of other observers influence each other freezing their reality according to that consensus. Other lands explain further that a consensus of different opinions regarding the structure of reality defines its very form, shaping the underlying quantum foam. So what what, what is all of this saying? That is only because we agree upon the same things that we create this reality. When we collapse the wave function, when we localize something, when we focus on something through consciousness, that's how reality is made. Before I move forward, I would like to remind you that if you want to join the growing discussion on consciousness and would like to be notified on the latest scientific discoveries and theories surrounding this topic and how they connect to ancient mythologies and philosophies, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as I'll try to upload at least one video per week as I continue with the outline. All right, so this is a very basic um, argument, very basic article, just explaining the same thing that we've gone over and over and over related to quantum physics. Observers create reality. We create reality with our thoughts, with our consciousness, so on and so forth. So if, just for someone who don't understand this, I'm going to be going very quickly into this because I've, I, I've approached all of this and I have a lot of videos in my channel dealing with quantum physics and how all of this work and how the new science in the last, in the last 
5 to 15 years is proving that all of the madness and all of the craziness and all of these weird things, weird alien world of quantum physics is actually real because now we have the technology to bring all of this forward and to retest it and put it to the test and actually bring up uh, the conclusions that all of this is real. It's weird, it's not real, and we are creating an, our own reality. Now, when we go into the observer effect, I'm gonna pull up uh, Wikipedia here. As I said, a lot of people don't like Wikipedia. They say, like, if you pull Wikipedia, you don't know what you're talking about. This is just a conglomerate of information. This is what the mainstream ideas pull forward. If you wanna go and Google this, Google it, and then you will find some of the dogmatic materialist sites, which say the conscious has nothing to do with it and then you will find spiritual quantum something which says oh we all create uh, reality with our minds and with our consciousness and with our feelings which is also not fully true it's more complex than this so just briefly in physics the observer effect is the disturbance of an observed system by the act of observation so what exactly is observation it is human consciousness it is the understanding of something the the measurement when when a scientist writes on a board uh, result from an experiment spe specifically all of this came from the double slit experiment i've done videos on this find it below i'm gonna link it on the screen maybe um this often this is often the result of utilizing instruments that by necessity alter the state of what they measure in some manner. So this is one of the arguments, the counter arguments, and even in this uh, article they go into this a little bit later. Uh, a lot of people say, well, if you even if you measure it with uh, some sort of device, it's gonna collapse the wave function. It's gonna create a reality. And my argument to that is, well, yes, but before before we go into this, let me just read this because it talks about it, about it right here. A notable example of the observer effect occurs in quantum mechanics as demonstrated by the double slit experiment. Physicists have found that observation of quantum phenomena by a detector or an instrument can change the measured results of this experiment, despite the quote-unquote observer effect. So what they're saying here is that the, a device, um, uh, just a mechanic thing, can uh, change the measured results, can collapse the wave function into a specific reality instead of a wave of possibilities that otherwise would uh, manifest. Uh, despite the idea of the observer observer being conscious of being a human being in this case a scientist looking at the uh, in the double slit experiment being caused by the presence of an electronic detector experiment results have been interpreted by some to suggest that a conscious mind can directly affect reality so even wikipedia is a little bit more, more materialist because is saying that um, this is an in just a basic interpretation. However, the need for the observer to be conscious is not supported by scientific research and has been pointed out as a misconception rooted in a poor understanding of the quantum wave function and the quantum measurement process. Okay, so this is what they think is happening. It's a misconception, a misinterpretation. Well, we have research here that says otherwise the most recent research and they have all the mathematics to prove you wrong and if you want to prove them wrong you have to go through all the mathematics and and and, and just debunk their the idea and then you have to go into the late latest Wigner Wigner's friend experiment which I feature in this video which is proving again indeed that the observer effect consciousness is actually creating reality so all of this research is putting forward but still if we go to what people believe right now it's a misconception it's a misinterpretation so what is the reality is Wikipedia saying the truth is the materialist dogmatist uh, the materialist dogma sites just extremely focused on this scientific uh, religion saying that everything is matter are they are those true or is it the spiritual quantum one that says uh, my feelings create reality it's much much more complex than that so my basic argument when it comes to this idea of a detector or an instrument changing the results and they've done all of these experiments as i said in the video where i talk about the double slit experiment they literally use a device they they put the information into memory banks and then they destroy the memory banks and they save some and then put, put them away and so on and so forth they do all these strange experiments to prove that consciousness is not needed but at the moment that there is an intention by consciousness to use a device 
with a specific purpose of collapsing the wave function, you're already using consciousness. Somebody's already conscious of this uh, effect, of this reality, so they are manifesting such reality. And there is no objective reality. This is what all of this quantum physics is saying. So now let's go into Wigner's friend, because this is one of the most important ones. As I said, I made a video about it. If you're going to go through, I'm going to link it somewhere. Who chooses reality? Which of the scientists choose reality? Is, is, is it observer A? Is it observer B? Is it the device, the instrument that they're using? Who? So they did this experiment and they did it with newer science and they proved that it's real. So just to go into an overall idea of what the Wigner's friend experiment is. So very briefly, to go into Wigner's friend, it's a thought experiment from 1961 from Eugene Wigner when they saw this craziness from quantum physics in the 1920s and 1930s. Uh, they came up with all these thought experiments because they didn't have the technology, but in the last 5 to 15 years, we have the technology now, and all these experiments are coming forward, and they are proving that quantum physics, quantum physics is as alien as, and as weird as they thought it was. Even Eugene Wigner said later that uh, it was a, a reduction ad absurdum that he he didn't think that this was real. This is, he thought that my experiment is nonsense. It, this needs to be revised, uh, indicating that the postures of quantum mechanics need to be revised in some way because it's just too crazy. It's just too dumb. But they proved to be real, and he died, of course. But afterwards, in the last few years, scientists have conducted his experiment with newer technology, and it's proved real. So basically, you got observer W and observer F. They perform a quantum measurement. They they they, they toss a coin, or they they put the particle gun and they shoot it, it's, or the electron and whatnot. It's either one or zero. It's a binary system. It's a spin axis positive or negative, upwards or downwards. It's it's one or two choices. So if there's two scientists and they look at the same thing, at the same experiment, they come up with an objective reality. But now, if, if the same circumstance, the same thing is measured in different laboratories by two different uh, scientists, they can come up with different um, with different results. Scientist A can have a one and scientist B can have a zero. Since they are not communicating, since they are not in the same room, in the same, uh, they don't know the same information, they are not observing the same thing, they can come up this with, with a different uh, reality. So all of this seems a little bit complex. I, I explained the whole thing in this video uh, called Who Chooses Reality? It goes very in-depth and of course it's an ongoing research, so there is the actual scientific research attached where you can go further into the mathematics of it and how they actually perform the experiment. So what they're proving is that there is no objective reality and this is the conclusion from the scientists. There is no objective reality. So when Wigner made all of this, he, he was saying, is it real? The question is and has always been, and even now with Robert Lanza going into this, is, is consciousness creating reality? And the answer is yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you find any value in the content that I'm putting forward, please consider supporting the project through Patreon on the links below. Likewise, you can like, share, subscribe, comment or follow me on other social media so more people have access to this information. Thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one.